Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania is probably one of the most interesting towns in the USA that you've never heard of. This charming and historic town is nestled in the Pocono Mountains and maintains an authentic charm that is hard to find anywhere else. Join us in exploring this amazing little town that has been deemed the Switzerland of America. Hey everyone, so where we are today is Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Now this is a very quaint, interesting town that not a lot of people know of in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. Now what's cool about it is it has a very old world charm. So most of the uh, structures here were built in the early to mid 1800s and it's a very uh, narrow like uh, street design, right? So you almost kind of feel like you're in Europe, which actually gives it the name the Switzerland of America. So it's kind of cool because it it has this small town and then it opens up to the big Pocono Mountains behind it. So we're gonna kind of go through and explore and see the best things to do when you're here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Make sure you check out Stone Row, also known as Ray Street, for its European-like architecture. It exudes authenticity and is the home of some of Jim Thorpe's best restaurants and shops. Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania began as a coal mining town in the early 1800s and was originally called Mauch Chunk, which means bear place in the Lenape Native American language. The town was renamed in 1954 after the famous and local athlete Jim Thorpe. The town lays nestled between the mountains and retains an authentic and historic charm filled with attractive architecture and mom and pop stores, restaurants, cafes, and bars. Now, when you walk along historic Stone Row, you can't help but just be impressed by the very interesting and ornate and quaint architecture that's all along this, this little street. Um, you know, it really is a historical city and it opens up to these big mountain vistas. So later in the tour, we're gonna go actually into the mountains. So that's part of it, right? So that's why it's called the uh, Little Switzerland or Switzerland of America, because it has a Switzerland vibe. You know, it has almost European-like street setting and then it opens up into these big mountains and it's a place where you can go hiking, uh, skiing, uh, bird watching, camping, all kinds of outdoor activities. So I definitely recommend um, if you're into outdoor activities to see that also while you're here in Jim Thorpe. One thing that you definitely have to check out when you're here in Jim Thorpe is the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway, and that's behind me. So what you do is you get on the train, it's a 70 minute train ride, and it goes deep into the mountains and you get beautiful views, um, and every season's different, right? So in the winter time, you can see the beautiful snow, in the fall, which is the most popular time, you see the changing of the trees, um, in the summer, you see all the wildlife, and in the spring, you can see, which is when we're here, you can see uh, all the blooming trees. So it's really, really something to see. And it's in an old, centuries old train. And there's several different options. There's a dome train that you can see everything above you. There's um, just a standard train, there's a higher level, and there's also an open air train um, that the whole thing is open. So you're outside basically. Uh, that's probably better in the spring and summer months, maybe early fall. Um, also, you can bring your dog on the train, so that's pretty cool as well. So definitely check that out when you're here. Taking a train ride on the famous Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway is one of the best things to do while in Jim Thorpe. For $25 to $35, depending on the class of train cart that you chose, you can take a 70 minute round trip ride through the beautifully scenic Lehigh Gorge section of the Pocono Mountains. While on the train, you can marvel at amazing vistas, beautiful valleys, impressive waterfalls, and rolling Appalachian hills. In the summer months, there is even a train that will take you and your bike up to the mountain where you can then bike downhill back into town. You travel on an old and historic diesel powered train and is great for families, couples, and individuals alike.
So two things that you have to see when you're here are the Asa Packer Mansion and the Harry Packer Mansion. So the Harry Packer Mansion is um, actually a, an inn, so you can actually stay here. Now the one directly behind me, the Asa Packer Mansion, they have tours of the mansion. She was a prominent figure here in Jim Thorpe. And um, unfortunately, uh, during this time of year, it's only open on the weekends. Now, I am here um, in April. After Memorial Day, there are daily tours. Now, I'm here during the week, so there are no tours of it. But definitely check that out when you're here. The Packer family were railroad tycoons that put down their roots in Mach Chunk, and their companies were responsible for employing much of the town in the mid to late 1800s. Both of the mansions were built in the 1860s and are some of the best examples of Italian architecture in the United States. Both mansions overlook the town, perched upon a hill, and offer incredible views of historic Mach Chunk, the mountains, and the valley below. Okay, so where we are now is the hub of Jim Thorpe. So we are along Broadway, that is the main commercial corridor. And along this corridor, you're gonna find tons of hotels, B&Bs, restaurants, pubs, bars, quirky stores. It really is a live commercial corridor. And you're gonna see a bunch of things as we go along here. So definitely check that out when you're here. Now, Broadway is the main commercial corridor and it's within the larger historic district, which is a very large historic district. Um, the, street you saw earlier, Stone Row, that's also part of the historic district. So definitely check both of these out when you're here. Broadway serves as the main commercial center of Jim Thorpe and offers the best examples of historic architecture in the city. Stroll down this attractive street and stop into all of the family owned stores, restaurants, pubs, and cafes. Broadway really has that old Main Street vibe and is an amazing example of an old American town. Unfortunately, so many towns have lost their unique character since the advent of the car, suburbanization, and the de-industrialization of American labor. Jim Thorpe, however, has seemed to maintain a nostalgic feel from the past. Interestingly, when speaking with locals on the street, I found out, however, that Jim Thorpe fell into horrible urban decay and disinvestment after the 1960s. In the mid-1980s, this beautiful commercial corridor only had about six businesses. Since the late 1980s, however, the town has come back and proves to be an amazing example for what effective city planning and urban revitalization can do for a community. So one thing you definitely gotta check out when you're here in Jim Thorpe is the Harry Potter Cafe, AKA the Muglet's Mug. So basically it's a coffee shop and it's Harry Potter themed. Uh, so Harry Potter heads are going to love it. Uh, they have Harry Potter uh, themed drinks and desserts and stuff like that. So definitely check that out when you're here if you're interested in Harry Potter. As you continue west along Broadway, you will come to the terminus of the commercial corridor. Here you will find the historic Mach Chunk Opera House, where you can still see concerts and view other performances. As you continue westbound, Broadway becomes more residential, but there is still tons of quirky stores and art galleries that you can explore while you continue your journey along Broadway.
the next site you have to see which is all the way at the western end of town and basically is kind of towards the end of the main commercial strip um, on broadway is the old jail museum which is behind me so this is an old jail hence the name and um, a lot of people think it's haunted and there was some famous executions that happened here now you can go on a tour of the old jail museum um, unfortunately it's closed now but if you come in the summer months so basically memorial day to labor day um, it's open every day and they have tours i think every half hour so definitely check that out the jail is very interesting it's very old uh there's some nooses there's some like torture stuff in there so it's pretty cool to see so check that out if you're here especially if you're here um in the summer the old jail, more formerly known as the Carbon County Jail, was built between 1869 and 1870 and is most famous as the execution site of the famous Molly Maguires. The Molly Maguires were an activist gang of Irish immigrant and Irish American coal miners that fought for worker rights and against Irish discrimination. They often achieved their goals through violent means and this was the execution place of several members of the gang. The gang is part of Pennsylvania heritage as this area was the home of many newly arrived Irish immigrants. All right, the next place you wanna go is 100 Mile Lookout, which is where we are now. So we're, it's on top of the mountain and you can see out for 100 miles or further, right? So this is about an eight minute drive from the town of Jim Thorpe. So it's real easy to get to. Uh, you go through some winding roads through the countryside and into the woods, and then you go up a dirt road. Um, it's open until dusk, 9 a.m. to dusk, and it offers amazing views of the whole valley, all the mountains around it, the Pocono Mountains, which is the eastern part of the Appalachian Mountain Range right so if you want to get into nature from Jim Thorpe it's really easy to do uh, you could also bike here and even hike out of town and there's tons of walking trails so I highly recommend you come here um, on your day trip or your weekend trip to Jim Thorpe Jim Thorpe is filled with tons of restaurants and it really has such a diverse set of places to go. It really will suit any taste. Um, my recommendation is this restaurant right here, Stone Row Pub and Eatery. So it's an historic building um, and it's kind of finer dining. So um, it's not so much pub fare, um, it's a kind of fancier food, but the food is fantastic and the chef is super nice and is kind of greets everyone who walks in the door. Um, and it's an historic place, so it's pretty cool to see. So I recommend checking this out for dinner when you're here in Jim Thorpe. Okay guys, that was Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. So it's a fantastic town to visit. It really does feel like you're in Switzerland, but here in America. I mean, you have the mountains, you have the old quaint streets, the old buildings, all the storefronts, all the quirky restaurants and quaint things to see. Um, I definitely recommend checking this out when you're in Eastern Pennsylvania. It's a great day trip. Um, you can do it from New York or Philadelphia. Uh, it's a bit long, it's about two hours from each place, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, definitely if you stay here as well. Um, listen guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like this video, share this video, leave me your comment below. Let me know what you think of Jim Thorpe and if there's anything I missed and uh, any additions to the video. Um, until next time guys, take care. Bye.